We have Takao Suki. Uh, he is president and CEO at Mitsubishi Power. Uh, Suki-san, thanks so much for joining us today. So just want to start off talking about those U.S. tariffs, particularly uh, its impact on clean energy technology. That's really raised concerns. Uh, give us your assessment on how this is impacting, you know, the global energy sector, especially on Asia's clean uh, energy manufacturing base as well as its export markets. Well, thanks for having me, Liz. And um, uh, yeah, for the uh, tariffs uh, by the, the U.S. government, of course, there are certain um, impacts to our industry. Uh, for us as Mitsubishi Power, we manufacture equipment like gas turbines, and there are certain impacts, but we are uh, managing it correctly, discussing with customers, um, some impacts to the pricing. But so far, I think it's, it's selling down a little bit, and I think um, we can manage it in a minimal impact. Yeah, talk to us about, you know, what the risks are uh, of the slowing down of the global energy transition, especially for, you know, those emerging uh, nations in, in, in APEC. Well, two factors I think that we did not expect uh, three years ago. One is energy transition isn't moving as fast as we thought it would. And two, this data center demand on electricity. So, of course, we want to meet the demands of, of the energy uh, uh, increase uh, due to the AI and data centers. And uh, at the same time, of course, energy transition is something that we must collaborate together. So two walking together, uh, a little bit different from what we expected, but uh, it's still moving forward. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, the point about AI, those large scale data centers really adding significant new pressure on energy systems worldwide. Uh, do you expect AI-driven energy demand to kind of shift the priorities or, or timelines even for uh, regional uh, infrastructure development in APEC? And, and how do you think AI is reshaping the way we understand and we respond to global energy demand? So we are already seeing that in U.S. for sure. And also we're starting to see that in the APEC region. Investments towards uh, generation, uh, large generation assets are starting. Uh, we've already started building three large power plants in Singapore. Uh, we've started one in Malaysia, another in Vietnam, uh, all underway, one already in operation on Jurong Island in Singapore. So investments towards these large scale uh, gas uh, infrastructure is, is ongoing and largely, of course, uh, impacted by the AI demand. So. This is an ongoing process. I think this is going to continue. And, but at the same time, energy transition it does, does not mean that it's, it's stopped because gas itself is an energy transition, realistic energy transition from coal to gas. And uh, it's very complementary with renewables also. So we're seeing both in progress. Yeah. And so how is uh, Mitsubishi Power I suppose, preparing for this next wave of energy demand. I mean, you, you shared some plans with us um, and you also talked about, you know, natural gas. And now natural gas is kind of positioned as a transitional fuel. Uh, how do you see, you know, the company's role evolving as more countries in, invest in renewables? Um, you know, natural gas being there is a, is a sort of bridge fuel there uh, in Asia's path to decarbonization. So pretty key as well. Yeah, um our role, of course, as a technology provider, we are developing gas turbines, but at the same time, uh, co-firing hydrogen with, with our gas turbines or, or putting carbon capture behind the gas turbines to capture this uh, carbon. So both technologies are uh, in development uh, by ourselves and be prepared. So when customers uh, who have invested in gas uh, infrastructure want to convert uh, into uh, more carbon uh, efficient uh, uh, infrastructure, then uh, you know hydrogen gas turbine conversion can be done, or adding carbon capture can be done. So we are uh, being prepared for that. I think uh, a lot of a lot of the countries investing in gas uh, acknowledge that that uh, gas will not be a stranded asset in the future, and uh, we're making sure that our technology is ready when the customers are ready. Yeah, and you know, you know, you talk a bit about the plans, right? Uh, talk to us about some of the opportunities uh, you see in the Asia Pacific energy market. Our uh, priority started from Singapore. Singapore started quite early, a couple of years ago, already investing into new gas plants. And then uh, Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand, Vietnam, 
all have huge potential for additional investments. Uh, some countries like uh, like uh, Philippines or Indonesia, Vietnam still depend on coal. And, and the new coal plants are very difficult to retire immediately, but the older ones, uh, getting the older coal plants uh, renewed into gas plants uh, immediately is a is a energy transition, uh, 60 to 65 percent reduction on CO2 emissions, uh, converting from old coal to uh, a new gas plant. So that is ongoing, and we're seeing that. All right, Suki-san, appreciate your time today. Takao Suki, uh, President and CEO of Mitsubishi Power.